Namaste everyone and welcome back to Live Stronger. Today we are going to train our chest and our tricep muscles and without any delay we are going to start with the greatest stretch, 5 repetitions on each side to ensure we have proper mobility before we start with our working sets. Now if you prefer to do so to get your heartbeat up, you may also add a 5 minute cardio depending upon the time you have in your schedule. Yes, the workouts are slightly longer. They almost take 45 to 60 minutes given the amount of time you require in between the sets. So cardio is something which you can always play around. You can definitely do cardio on your break days because it's a four day split. So you can always take a day break in between and hit your cardio goals. But otherwise, five minute cardio is more than sufficient to start your workout with. Dynamic stretching, that's important. Now, before moving to your Working set, we have to definitely get into our deep squat, hinging by pushing our glutes as far behind as possible, getting a great amount of stretch in our hamstrings and then sitting down in a deep squat for a few seconds, feeling those hips stretch, feeling those calf muscles working, the ankle mobility completely doing its job. And once done, we begin with our working sets. So first exercise, I'm going to do an incline, incline bench press wherein I have done the first set is 15 repetitions and the next two sets I have done 8 to 10 repetitions followed by two drops. So I have dropped the weight twice and got as many repetitions as possible. Now when you're doing drop sets, make sure the weight is in a comfortable range and you're able to control the weight all the way through because remember you may fatigue way quicker in a drop set before you know you're unable to push the weight anymore. With dumbbells, it's very easy. If you're done, you just you can just put it down. With bar, it comes with a little bit of challenge because the bar will straight away come and sit on your chest or on your neck. So we have to be extremely careful. The reason why I'm emphasizing this a lot is because I had this personal experience on today's workout wherein I on my third set, I was almost not able to move the bar or rack it back after failing in my drop set. So here is how it went. First, Firstly, I was able to drop the weight quickly in my second set. I did not have much of a challenge. I was able to get my 8 to 10 repetitions, 6 repetitions and I was able to drop it continuously. But during the drop set itself, I have noticed a little bit of instability going on in my left shoulder. Again, the challenges which I face because I'm a side sleeper. So maybe something was tight, something was not right. I felt it, but it was not so much that I couldn't control this amount of weight. I wasn't lifting anything particularly heavy. I was focusing more on the control bit going as slow as possible here the video has been sped up so that's the reason it's going so fast but otherwise i was doing it in an absolute control manner and here you can see how i was unable to de-rack it after completing the first few repetitions there you go after completing four or five repetitions going smooth i had absolute control of the weight i had no reason to stop in between but then suddenly my shoulder just couldn't push the weight anymore and i had to safely demount the weight forward instead of racking it behind this could happen with you so make sure you have a spotter if you don't make sure the weight is something which you can easily control which you can easily demount without having much of a trouble now after completing our incline bench press i moved on to flat bench press remember the safety procedure remains the same when you're doing with a bar you have no other way than to take the bar off you than to just roll it forward because going behind is hitting your own head. With dumbbells, it's easy. You can just drop them down. So three sets, 15 repetitions. Again, high volume. So keep the weight under control. Focus on controlling the repetitions. Your intention is not to just rep out, but to do as much control as possible. And if in that uh, path, if you're able to only achieve 10 or 12 repetitions, it's absolutely fine. It's the amount of work or the time under tension, which matters a lot. The bar should always come, touch your chest in line with your nipples and you push slantly a little bit up so that the bar comes back to your eye level. So it's always a slant path while pushing the bar back up. And you, you, when you want to de-rack it, sorry, rack it back, you just place it behind. Now after completing my chest press, I moved on to inclined bench cable tricep extensions. Now we have done this previously with a barbell. This time I chose to do it with a cable. I just wanted to try out if the tension would be different and I'm glad that it really worked out. The tension was great. I was able to hit the fatigue very quickly. I think it's 
way more better than doing with a regular barbell. So I would going forward choose to do it with the cable extensions. Now here I have done three sets, 15 rep uh, repetitions to start off with, then pause repetitions. The usual wherein we accumulate another 20 repetitions in five repetition intervals. So five reps, take small break, five reps, take small break, take uh, five reps. In that manner, we have, we get 20 more repetitions. So total three sets, 15 plus 20 repetitions. Here, we are focusing on working our long head. You can see how my tricep moves. So as I extend my elbow, my tricep is getting complete range of contraction. The main part is to make sure the rope, ex uh, the rope attachment stays behind you. You shouldn't be ever able to see the rope. The hands remain behind so that you get that beautiful stretch from your back to your tricep. And from there, your tricep has to do all the work to get the rope high above. After completing the tricep extensions, I moved on to the chest fly machine. Here, the way I set myself is basically I don't sit down, but actually I lean back onto the back support a little bit, place it just at my mid back level. And from there, do my adductions. Adductions is basically getting your hands together. So focusing on that chest pump. Here you can see I don't place the back support high up because that would block my uh, back in terms of my hands moving. So I just place it in the mid level of my back so that my arms are free to move and that way I can get the maximum amount of adduction. Three sets, 20 repetitions, nothing heavy. Controlled repetitions is our aim. We don't want to go heavy and lose out on reps. We want to get 20 repetitions, but in a very controlled manner, slow and steady. The release also has to be slow. As you can see here, you'll get the maximum amount of adduction done in such a manner. Yes, you can also do the seated and that would be perfectly fine. But this particular way helps me get maximum amount of adduction. And somehow I also feel maximum amount of work being done on the lower part of my chest. After finishing those chest flies, we move on to a superset wherein we do cable French press and push downs. So we're going to start off with the cable French press. Again, working on our long head. The long head of the tricep is what gives the volume to the tricep. So the more amount of work we do there is the more amount of size we earn in our tricep and more sleeves we can fill in. It's a very simple exercise to set ourselves up with just a cable set at hip level and then take it from behind and start extending your elbows as high up as possible, getting the maximum amount of elbow extension and in that way, getting maximum amount of tricep contraction while your tricep is at a stretch. This is what gets the long head more uh, or causes the long head to grow more or fatigue more. So that's how we do it. For push downs, it's our short head which is working or the medial head which is doing the most amount of work as you can see here. So again, a very important part of the exercise or the routine still. Here, you don't need to get your elbows all the way up. You can just bring them midway and then push down from there. Try to keep the rope as straight as possible. And how do you do that? By leaning slightly forward. So slightly leaning forward allows your arms to go straight down and the cable to remain straight down. If you start taking the cable in a slant manner, you might lose out on a little bit of tension. But yes, it's still fine. But I always prefer to lean a little bit forward so the cable goes always down. After completing those, again, I have chosen to do a superset because I was running low on time. So I have done a superset of hanging leg raises and close grip press. So I have done 10 repetitions of hanging leg raises, had a barbell behind me to control my swing so that I can focus more on my contractions and get as good a contraction as possible without worrying about swinging back because the barbell is there to stop me. The barbell is just placed in the mid level of my back so that it's not hurting my upper back or the lower back. You can also place a cushioning like I have done to give a little bit of more support. And after completing the leg raises, I immediately moved on to a Smith machine close grip press wherein I have done as many repetitions as possible. Make sure you keep your elbows as close to your body as possible. This would give the maximum amount of tricep activation. And from there, push high. Get your hands absolutely straight. Complete elbow extension is necessary for your triceps to do the amount of work. You might feel a little bit of fatigue in your chest muscles and that's absolutely fine because they are doing a little bit of work too. 
but here the triceps are doing the majority of work they will be tired too again we are training the short head a little bit because here our triceps are not at a stretch they are in the short end position so bit of training for a short head and that's it for today we are done with our workouts we are going to finish off with static stretching a simple pipe stretch wherein we put the pipe behind our back and stretch out all the way creating abduction and stay there for a few seconds 15 to 20 seconds at least you can do it a couple of times to feel the stretch as you can see how my entire back and my upper chest is completely stretched out my triceps are stretched out and stay this would ensure my muscle getting back to its oh or regaining its neutral length and that's it for today thank you so much for joining me if you did like the video please do drop a like if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel please do subscribe any feedback please do drop comments and i will respond to each and every one thank you so much again for joining me i will see you in the next video i hope this workout was good and you had an amazing time have a great day